Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is JP Alexander, and this is Rabbit Dogs Unleashed. And uh, today's video, I'm going to be talking about hedonism. Many of you might be asking, what is hedonism? Well, hedonism is one of those all-inclusive resorts that you pay one price. It includes the airfare and the meals and the drinks and all the fun you can have. And it's inside a compound in uh, Jamaica in the Caribbean. And uh, yeah, so it was more known. I haven't heard a lot about it lately. Do more websites and probably see videos about it and hear about it. Uh, back in when I first went, I went twice actually. Once in 1991 when I was 25 years old and a uh, wide-eyed, optimistic, younger man. And I went once in 2015 when I was uh, during my 50th week, my 50th uh, birthday week. I went because I was dying to go back ever since 1991 when I had a blast. And I was dying to go back all those years and I never got around to it. And finally, I got around to go alone the second time. The first time I went with two friends of mine I worked with. And two experiences vastly different. The club itself didn't change much. Um, the setup and the whole logistics of the, the club didn't change much. But uh, my experience definitely changed. And I think the crowd definitely was different both times. So anyway, uh, let me give you a background about hedonism. It was The first one was Hedonism 1. I think that was back in the 80s it was created. And it was knocked uh, down and destroyed by a hurricane. Then they made Hedonism 2. That's the one I went to both times. And then years, when I went to the first one, when I went the first time, excuse me, 1991, it was only Hedonism 2. And then they had made a Hedonism, hedonism 3 uh, that I don't know you know, how good that had done, uh, I think that maybe had closed down. I think that's how much, maybe when they were doing good business, they, they could afford to have two of them. I don't know. But uh, Hedonism 3, I don't think it's around anymore. But anyway, I went to Hedonism 2 both times. So here's my experiences. In 1991, I went, I was young, 25 years old. Me and these two guys I worked with went, we, we had, uh, I went with one of them on a, in the previous year, we went on a cruise. And I didn't like a cruise. It was too confined. I think if you're old, maybe a cruise is good for you if you can't get around too well. But when you're young and, you know, you want to party and have a good time, you know. By the time, the times we stopped on the island, it was really good. The islands we stopped at. But uh, on a cruise ship, it was too confined. And the pool's about the, the, the size of this couch. and Not not a vacation. I would. I know the, the, the ship's getting bigger now, but I'd rather be on an island. So, in 1991, we went to Hedonism, which at that point was like, uh, the place to go. The chicks are going to be hopping all over you. you know, everything's going to be good. And we were all single. Me and the two guys I went with, they were, one was about 31, 32. The other one was about 29, 30. They were about, you know, a few years older than me, let's say. So, when we went, you know, we landed, uh, we got our rooms, you know, and then uh, I noticed there was two different types of people then and two different types of people both times I went uh, I'm going to refer to them as the swingers and the swingers is anybody who I guess is married and swings or has a girlfriend and they swing which means they swap out partners and try other couples and they live that lifestyle and I also draw in there the nudists and the people who like alternate lifestyles and maybe like to be naked on the beach all day and just you know maybe they want to be invited to to join a married couple, or something, or, or maybe get with a girl while her husband watches, or whatever. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. And the square part, I'm not saying, okay, not everybody in that predicament, that particular group I'm, is a swinger per se, but I'm gonna call them that for this video. And then there's the non swingers, which are the squares. Now, I'm not sure that's what swingers call non swingers, the squares, you know. I'm just gonna call it that for, again, for this video. And I would probably fall into the, at that point, the square category, because I was 25 years old and I went and we were going to have a good time, just, you know, drink and just party and dance and meet girls and meet, 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 meet everybody, just have a good time. So I went, we landed, and as soon as we got there, we got our rooms, we each had a different room, and we just started partying, we started drinking, and I had met these two girls, like, right away, they were from another hotel, they came to this hotel, you can come to this resort and pay one price to stay the whole day. Maybe it was $100 for a day. I don't know what it was. But you get all the food and all the drinks and everything for the whole day. You know, if you pay that that money. And you can 
hang out there and even if it's not your hotel. They were in another hotel that wasn't all, all inclusive. So uh, I met them and then the one guy I went with, he, he was a body he, the, the, the builder. He had first heard of hedonism probably in his gym or the bodybuilders was like, you know, and, and this is uh, New York. So hedonism had a lot of New Yorkers there. Not just New Yorkers, but New Yorkers was kind of a bigger, it was known, okay, and probably in his gym they were talking about it. You gotta go to hedonism. You're a bodybuilder. These girls will, girls will just run up to you or whatever. So, uh, yeah, that, that, and then, uh, so my bodybuilder friend hooked up one of the girls and I end up hooking up with one of the other ones. I mean, just for fun. Who know? I mean, I don't even know how far we, I got with them, you know, or he got. I just know it was a lot of fun and we're dancing and we're just, we're just partying. The first day was, was a toga party and they gave us, you know, they brought extra sheets to have togas to our, our rooms and we just, we got dressed in togas and went out and just had a blast, you know, with Dan. We just met a lot of people on the beach. And I know the next day I'm lying on the beach trying to soak up. Here's the thing. They had like a routine. You get up early, you lie on the beach, you sweat out all the alcohol. And then the bar opens at like 9.30 in the morning and then you start drinking at 9.30. But you don't get drunk. You never get hammered. You just always have a drink in your hand. But you don't ever slam. Because you get hammered, that's not going to be good. So... You know, if you do get a little hammered, you might take an afternoon nap so you could, you know, wind up, sober up a little bit before you go out for the nice activities. Because you want to stay, you know, you want to go out, like, you want to wake up, like, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, have breakfast, lie on the beach for a little while. And then you want to drink until, you know, 2, 3 in the morning, and then do the same thing over again the next day. Again, I was 25 years old. You know, that's why I, I could do that back then. Probably not now. Okay, so at the time, doing them at the squares and the uh, the swingers, there was probably 80% squares and 20% swingers then. Even though it was known to have that side of the the, the the compound was for that. But the regular side, you know, where you get your meals and the big pool was there and the main bar and the bar on the beach and the main beach, these were all the, the, the regular part, the square part, if you, if you must. And uh, so, you know, and, and my room... My room was in a, in a building, they, they had rooms in buildings, like maybe 10 rooms in each building or something, or 10 suites in each building. So mine was closer to the, uh, the swinging part. So when I took a shortcut to get to the regular beach, the square beach, I went through the swingers beach. And then you would see people on the beach n naked. Now you could be naked and I'll have clothes in, in the swingers part. They'd rather you not have clothes than you be hanging out there because it gets people worried. You know, what are you doing there with clothes on? So if you're going to hang out there, you've got to take your clothes off. But if you're walking through, you, you can have your clothes on. But in the swinging part, I mean the square part, excuse me, you have to have clothes on. But the women can go topless. And, uh, you know, there were women topless. These Italian w women were there, and they were topless, like, every day on, on, on the regular part beach. So I was, you know, this is good enough for me. I don't need that other kind of thing. I'm good. And I was 25. So a lot of people there were my age and uh, around my age and, it was fun. We all hanging out together, you know, couples, singles, and we all had a blast. It was a good time. We left the compound a few times. We went to this bar outside the compound, me and this, uh, you know, the two guys I, I, I worked with. And we also went to this place called Ritz Cafe where you jump, you cliff dive. And they were selling us beer, giving us beers, and we're jumping off this this 45-foot cliff, 50-foot cliff, whatever it was. It was not safe. And back then... I've seen videos recently, it's changed. Now you, you jump off a, a safer cliff, you know, a safer part of the cliff. We used to have to walk out this thin area like this, you know, to get to this this round circle area, like, uh, so we can jump. And you want to be far from the rocks because you're near the rocks, you probably end up getting killed. But now I see that they, they made kind of a platform over the rocks where you just jump off the regular platform. You don't have to venture out there <laughs> and if you fall the wrong way you get killed on a rock so back then it was a lot more dangerous than it is now that i've seen but uh you know we jumped several times each and i mean my, my boss the guy who was the bodybuilder he dove he was crazy he dove head first and i mean I'm, I'm a good diver but even i was scared to do that so i jumped so we made a blast at that place it, it was just was a good experience the whole time i had such a good time that I wanted to go back. All these years I wanted to go back and I lived in Europe after that and I lived in the Fiji Islands after that. And so I lived in all these places after that and then I moved back to the Washington DC area of Virginia and I was single. 
And I said, you know, this is a good time that I should go away and, you know, go to one of the, the islands. And I'm thinking about hedonism again. Because I had such a good time. I'm like, let me go back this time alone. Let me see how it is, you know, because I just remembered having a good time. But I forgot, as anything, things change, you know. And people change. I'm not 25 years old anymore. Like, I don't remember hanging out with anybody my age back when I went the first time. I wasn't. I was hanging out with people my own age. Like, we were the squares, let's say. And you come to notice that squares don't like swinging. Square couples, like 25 years old, they're not going to swing. They swing when they get older, when their marriage has gone through its course and they're starting to get bored with each other. Maybe they still love each other, but they're not, you know. I mean, it takes a special, a different kind of person to be 25 and being into swinging. That doesn't normally happen. And I, I, come, I came to find that out, you know. And at the first time I went, I was just one of the crowd, or square crowd. And when I did venture to the, the, the swinging part, which I did, one, one, one night I met these two girls. It was funny. I had a bunch of pot. This one guy I was hanging around with, uh, I met. I met the second day I was there on the catamaran. We went on a catamaran. We went on a, a snorkeling expedition or whatever. He met me and he's like, I'm all burnt out. I, I, can't, I can't party anymore. I've been here for two weeks or something. I have all this pot, so when I see you later on on the beach, there was a beach party like every night. I'll give you some pot and, you know, you can enjoy it. So I saw him on the beach at the end of the night, and he gave me this hefty bag full of pot. I was like, geez, dude, this is a lot of pot. And I wasn't, I'm not really into pot. Never really was. But, you know, if you have it, you, 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 uh, if you have it and you let people know you have it, you attract others, good-looking women. So he gave me the pot and uh, the rolling papers, the lighter, everything. So I met these girls on the beach, and I'm like, oh, I got all this pot. And they're like, oh, you know. Well, they heard I had it, and they came over to me, and we're rolling down. I'm terrible at rolling drugs. And they're smoking pot on the beach. They're, this is how this place was. You could smoke pot on the beach. And, you know, then I'm hanging out with these two girls, and then I'm hanging out with these, these three guys from Milwaukee, I think. And uh, they were fun guys. So then we're hanging out, and... Uh, it's getting later, and the girls go, hey, we want to go to the uh, the famous uh, hot tub, you know. And I'm like, there's a hot tub right here. It was a small hot tub. And they're like, no, 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 that's not the famous hot tub. We heard about the famous hot tub on the other side of the uh, compound, you know. Through the woods, like the movie Couples Retreat. They go through the woods, and then suddenly there's Eden. It was kind of like that, but it wasn't quite that spectacular, actually. You go through the woods, and you go in, and it's a small part. It's a... Uh, uh, it's a a bar, it's a bar with like a, a, a pool and you, you swim up to the bar and there's a restaurant part and there's a huge hot tub. This is like the, the you know, and there's a, a beach where you could be naked all day. So that's the swingers part, which is not as big as the square part because there wasn't as many of them. As I said, 80, 20. So I went there with uh, the, the two girls wanted to go. So one of the guys from Milwaukee went and then, you know, we're not even there yet, and this guy's he's making out with a girl in the woods, so we leave them to do whatever they're going to do. I mean, one of the girls went into the the, the, uh, the hot tub at night. This is like probably 2 o'clock in, in the morning, you know, we end up in the hot tub. So we're in the hot tub hanging out, with, you know, and it's a big hot tub. I feel like 80 people in the hot tub, and there's things going on over there that, that I don't know what's going on. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm seeing it, but I'm not paying attention, and it's probably stuff you shouldn't be paying attention to anyway. And um, me and this girl were sitting there, and we meet this guy, Jungle Jim. He was just, he's about my age now, actually, but he was in good shape. He had been a gymnast or something in his younger days. So anyway, he's hanging out there, and uh, he's with his wife, and his wife was probably half his age, you know, probably like in her 20s, and she was gorgeous, had nice fake, you know, and this is before everybody had fake breasts. And... Uh, you know, she's hanging out there, and he said she used to work at the, the, the Playboy Bunny. She used to work as a Playboy Bunny, and he met her when he was gymnastics or something. I don't know. This is a long time ago. So I'm talking to Jungle Jim, and his wife's talking to the girl I brought in there. And uh, the guy brought in there, I don't know if she was really, I don't think she was a swinger. She just wanted to see what the whole hoopla was about. I don't think she was really that much into me anyway. I don't know. So uh, we just ended up hanging out in there, you know, and we're naked, of course. Everybody's naked. And Jungle Jim says to me, hey, why don't you and your girl and me and my wife, we, you know, we break off into, you know, 
two couples, like you and my wife. And I was all for it. I'm like, dude, that sounds like a great idea. Your wife's like, you know, she was about my age at the time, but just way out of my league. Way out of my league. And uh, he was probably better looking than the girl I was with, like, but, you know, tw twice as old. And then, uh, so, uh, we're hanging out there, and then uh, uh, I say, well, I'm all for it, but you got to talk to her because I can't, you know, say she'll be okay with it because I only just met her <laughs> about an hour ago. So, you know, I don't think that's going to fly. And, of course, it, it, it didn't fly. I don't even know if they even propositioned her. I just kind of, you know, and the next day I know it, you know, I'm back at the regular part and, you know, having a beer on the beach uh, at the regular the square bar, you know, which is cool. You could drink on a beach. It was, it was packed on that, you know. So my point is that, you know, you could venture over there and do that kind of thing to tip your toe in the water, let's say. But I experienced, most of what I experienced was on the uh, the square part, and it was good enough. I had a blast. Fast forward to 2015, I go as a single person, divorced person, uh, to... Uh, he needs him as a 50-year-old. And it was different because actually my room now was actually the last room in the square part, like the furthest away from the the swinging part, you know, I'm in the square part, you know. And, uh, uh, yeah, I had to walk all the way there to get, and the square part was dead. It was probably, you know, 80% swing is 20% square. And that's probably a conservative estimate. It's probably more like a 95.5, you know. <laughs> Because there was hardly anybody on the on the, the 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 square part, and the square beach was only a, a few people I saw. The square bar on the beach had a few people during the day here and there, like you know the bar was by no means packed like it was when I went in 1991, and um, there just seemed to be a lot of noise coming over from the the swinging part. Now, when you have your meals, that that's a part for everybody, so you got to wear clothes. And this one guy. 91, who was naked the whole time I saw him every day on the naked beach. He was wearing like a loincloth. That's really all you have to wear to, to dinner. Just as long as your privates are not hanging out with people, people trying to eat, you know. So when I went there a second time, there was only a few people, like 25, I saw in the square part. And there was none of those people who were in the swinging part. The swinging part average age was around my age and older. Uh, and uh, it was, 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 was different being there all day. And, you know, you can, I mean, I, I would go to the regular part and swim in the pool and have my, my meals there. But, you know, for the most part, the place to be was the swinging part. But when you're a 50-year-old single guy in the swinging part, you're not, you're not getting a lot of action. You're not getting invited to participate in anything. You know? People are doing their thing. They, you know, you, you see, uh, I met this one girl, good-looking girl. She was actually probably one of the best-looking girls there, she was about 35, she looked to be. And uh, you don't know, the 25-year-olds you're not seeing. Maybe one couple was in their 20s, but they weren't partaking much. I mean, they were in the swinging part, but you had to be a good-looking couple to get their attention, let's say, because, you know, they weren't sleeping with people, you know, my age or older, you know, unless you were, you know, you were good-looking my age and older. Which there wasn't a lot of that, believe me. So um, I met this girl who was attractive, nice body, her and her boyfriend. She said it was a boyfriend. They were swings, you know, they got into that, you know. It's probably early part to get into that. And, and they were, I'd see them both on the beach and I'd see them at dinner at night and I'd see them have sit at a table with, with, with two other people, another couple. And I'd see them hang out and dance and maybe the dance club at night and then. The next day, I'd see one of them on the beach with, with uh, the other wife or the other husband, and then they all four get together, and then they split up again with the husband and wife. You know, this girl and her boyfriend would be there for the whole day, so they used to hook up at night with another couple, and then they go to their rooms, you know, with the other couple. They'd swing, and then and they meet each other on the beach the next day. That's our breakfast the next day, or something. That's what. They did, you know, that was what turned them on and made the relationship work, I guess. So that was good. But when you're 50 years old and you're a single guy, you're not being asked to uh, participate. I saw a few Russian girls who were there who were like about 40, I guess. They were they were propositioned a lot. They, they were asked to participate in uh, 
a lot of and and they they had their fun that they were you know participating in groups at that point so they were definitely part of that that scene uh can you believe it, it logged me off and i was like on a screen i'm trying to make a video here this is something that shouldn't happen anyway i gotta fix that so yeah they had a good time but i'm i met a couple other single guys but for the most part you single guys like me were not hooking up or not x to <laughs> participate i did meet one girl good good looking woman probably a little older than me good looking nice body good good looking woman I met her at the gift store, and we were talking, and we had a drink together at the bar, and then she said, oh, I'm here with my, my, my lover, her boyfriend. She said, we had been in lifestyle for a while, and, uh, you know, why don't you, you know, if I meet you on the beach with him, if you talk to him and you become friendly with him, maybe he'll allow me to, you know, have you, <laughs> as she put it, and I'm like, oh, okay, I guess they have to both agree to it or something. He has to agree to let her go with me. Or if he wants to join in, maybe, I don't know. I was, did not know. I was like, but it sounded like maybe it might be fun. Especially if I get to be with her alone. Now it would be fun, you know. When you're there, you're seeing things. So you do want to be part of it somewhat. So, um, but you know what? At the end of the year, you know, uh, later on, I saw her on the beach with her boyfriend. And I started talking to her. And then I was talking to him and we were talking about housing market who knows what we were talking about so i was on him for a while and she was getting drinks and she was just parading around walking past us naked nice body nice but i was totally kept couldn't keep my nose off of her so then um after hanging out there for a while he said to me hey listen um later on we're going to be at the party up there by the regular pool and the regular bar and there's gonna be a big dance party and we're gonna be there hanging out so uh if you, you like, you can come hang out with us. You can come meet us up there. I'm like, okay, yeah. What happened was, it was my last night there. I ended up not making it to the party. The party didn't start until way after dinner. Dinner might have been until 7. The party started at 9. I was tired. I don't want to wait till those two hours. I, yeah, I admit, I went to my room and watched something and went to bed. And I didn't get to see what that whole thing was about. And, you know, I just know I'm not wanted there right now <laughs> unless I bring a girl. Unless I bring another girl and then you could partake in swinging i'm not sure if that's my thing but no nah, i wouldn't be i wouldn't be against trying it you know uh if i had the girlfriend who was into it you know i had a you know a partner who was into it but right now i don't have a partner at all so I, i'm not you know but uh i i, I respect their, their 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 freedom and their lifestyle but i'm just telling you if you want to go if you're a swinger and that sounds like a fun time to have. You could do it. And most of them, I think a, a bunch of them said to me, you can't do this in Europe. That's why a lot of, there were some Europeans there. They said, there's no place like this in Europe that you could do this. So, uh, you know, this is good that we could just jump on a plane and go to Jamaica and, and do this. And I was like, cool, you know. And I respect their lifestyle. But, yeah, the two different, if you're in your 20s, I realize people in their 20s and probably 30s, they don't, they're don't they not swinging. Their relationship, the man doesn't want his woman sleeping around, and a woman doesn't want a man sleeping around. So when you get older, that maybe you hook up, and you've been married, and you've been through that whole, you know, merry-go-round, and you don't want to get involved in that anymore. So maybe you get, you know, involved in swinging. And uh, maybe your marriage is not doing so good, and you need to spice it up to keep married. You love your person. She's your soulmate. He's your soulmate. You're happy together. You don't want to get divorced, but your sex life has hit a dead end, and this might just, you know, be something to help you out. But uh, like I said, be warned. And hedonism has changed vastly. Now it's uh, primarily a swingers club, where before it was a inclusive club that just had that side over there for those uh, adventurous types who would, you know, go over there to do that. So that's my video for t t today. Yes, I've been to hedonism twice and. 91, it was not the club it is now. And uh, now it is a vastly different club. If it's still even around, this was 2015, I was. It's been five years. So I don't, uh, almost five years. October will be five years. I don't know how it is now, but if you, you know, want to look at the videos and thinking about it, you know, take my advice, please. But uh, again, if you're 25 and in a relationship with somebody, uh, if you're 25 and a single woman, hey, I mean, even a single man, 25, you'll probably get invited to join some, you know, 
of the couple, 25 year old male, I don't know. There was no single 25 year old men the second time I went. And the first time I went, I don't remember anybody, you know, my age going to that. So I've been hanging out there exclusively doing what, you know, trying to participate in that. So probably if you're that age now and you're hanging out, and, and, and yeah, I did see some people hanging out in the, uh, you know, the square part who were 25 when I went the second time, but it doesn't look like they were having much fun. There wasn't much party in there. And it seemed at night, yeah, they were involved in some parties at night, I guess, but it was not like it was, you know, back in 1991. Vastly different. So that's my video, everybody, and uh, I'll ca catch you later.